Alrighty, hey guys, it's iTipster here, it's John. Today I have another review for you guys on the Marware Sports Grip Extreme for the iPod Touch 2nd generation, 8GB, 16 and 32GB. But before I get into this review, I want to give a huge shout out to a good friend of mine, TD Instructor. She's over there on YouTube, her name is Joy. I've been in contact with her for a little bit, she's a great person. I'm on her channel right now. She has only 20 subscribers and only 386 channel views. She deserves so much more. She has unboxings on her channel. She has Macintosh tutorials, or Mac tutorials, and she has iPod tutorials on a bunch of different things, guys. She's got some case reviews. She has a really nice spec review for her computer, spec um, see-through case for the computer kind of thing. Really, really nice stuff. She, got, she has a whole bunch of tutorials to do. Guys, go check her out, www.youtube.com slash tdinstructor, capital T, capital D, and then I-N-S-T-U-C-T-O-R, right here, youtube.com slash tdinstructor. Go check her out in the link in the sidebar that way. Let's get on to this review, guys. So I have the Marware Sports Grip Extreme in hands right now, guys. Overall, just really nice case, like the packaging. And um, I love that little blue kind of thing going on there. It looks really nice. And if you flip it on over the back, it gives you a little bit of info about the case. I'll get into that in the actual case. And the thing that I really like about it is when you buy a product from them, you get a lifetime guarantee on their product. So that means they really stand by their products. They're really firm. They really think that their products are nice. Let's get right into this. So when you open up the, the packaging, it's a very simple, simple packaging. You just get the case and this little plastic holder. And I'll place that on over the side, guys. And here is the case itself, guys. Look at look how nice that looks, guys. And the, my first impressions when I tried on this case, it is a very, very soft silicone. A very soft silicone. It's almost velvety silicone. Compared to this silicone, which is a rougher silicone, this in-case case, this is a very soft, soft silicone. And you have that amazing design on the back with that Marware logo right there. It's kind of blurry, but you guys can make, out, make that out. So let's take out this little care package they've got going on. So like all great companies, as like Switch Easy and whatnot, when you get this little cardboard iPod, when you open it up, you get a, um, a, a microfiber cloth and a screen protector to use for your case to go on your iPod. And this, this microfiber cloth is really, really nice. I've used it, and it's really, really nice. And you get that little Marware sign down at the bottom there. So very, very nice. Very nice of them to include that in their uh, little package. I'll put this over to the side here, and let's get on to the case. So here's the case, guys. It is a really nice black finish on the outside with that really nice, very, very soft, I, I wish you guys could feel that. It's a very soft silicone on all around and especially on the inside so your iPod does not get damaged. It's a really nice red silicone. And you uh, just to go over some of the things, you have a little cutout for your brightness. The brightness, uh, like auto brightness sensor, you have a little uh, indentation for your sleep wake and volume rocker. And at the bottom, what's really nice, they have a little dust cap right here, dust cover, not cap, but more of a cover, and a little cutout for your uh, headphone jack. Right there, there, there. All right. So right down to this dust cap, it's really nice. It's like basically they took the case and just kind of like cut a little slit. So they made the case complete and they just cut a little slit here that when you want to put this, when you want, when you're not using connecting to like a cable like that, um, what it does is it just kind of, kind of lays over that so no, du no dust will get into that little bottom port there which is really, really nice of them to think about. So they're actually a really good idea. I'm surprised not a lot of other companies have designed that. But um, it's really, really helpful. That's actually helped me in the past when I've been flipping this case in and out of my pocket. No, no lint or any dust will get into that little port down there which is a very nice feature. I'm really happy they did that. And uh, let's just get this case on. So usually what I do to get the case on is I'll take it and flip it on in from the top in like that. And since it is a nice soft silicone, I don't have to worry about aligning the buttons first because, I mean, it is a very durable, but it is a very, very giving silicone. And I'll show you that in a second. And I just kind of ease on the bottom on after the top like so. And after you do that, it is on 100% and it is not coming off and it looks great. There you go, you can see me. It looks great in the process. So here it is guys, um, it adds virtually no bulk to your iPhone or iPod, it's a little bit thick but that's for shop protection so when I drop it, it is 100% fine, it is a very rubbery yet very giving silicone. And uh, what I really like about this home button is like unlike the Switch Easy Colors case which is like a jelly bean that kind of comes off the case and gives it more thickness, this actually goes in so that when I'm using this uh, case at night or when I'm using this 
on my iPod at night when I have this case on, I can just feel around the bottom and I can feel a little indentation there and just click on it so that it goes right on. That was, I'll show you guys that in it later on. I'm not very perverted, I promise. So as you can see right there, you can see the little indentation that goes in like that. Very, very nice of them to think about. And there is that dust cap cover kind of thing that you got going on right there. So when you want to use it, you just kind of lift it, lift it up, place it in, and it will just kind of lay on top of your cable. And I'll show you that right now. So let me get my cable. Here it is. So to put it in, all you have to, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, you just kind of lift it up like that, like so. And you just kind of place your, there, right there. And then the case kind of just lies right on top like so. And also, this works really well with the Richard Solo case. So when I, or the Richard Solo 1200, I should say. Sorry about that. So let me get out my Richard Solo here. All right, so here is my Richard Solo, guys. So let me just take this out. Richard Solo, do the same kind of thing. Just lift up that bottom piece right there and place that, whoops, I missed it. There we go. So as you can see, it is giving it a charge, as you can see right there. So it works very well, well with the Richard Solo. I'll pull that out and I'll just place the cap back on. All right, so here we go. Um, as you can see, there is a very, very nice design on the back there. It is a very nice, very, very nice um, black with the really, really nice red kind of stripes flying up the case. And then, as I said before, there's a little Marware logo right there. And um, also the the very like I okay. I really, really like the. Um, the cutout, not the really cutouts, but the little indentations for the volume rocker and sleep wake. They are very, very easy to press to have them go on and off. Same with the volume rocker, like up and down. Very, very nice. All overall, I'd give this case really, like honestly, I'd give it probably a nine out of ten, just because I all of ugh, can't talk today. A lot of other silicone cases, like this ca silicone case, the buttons are a little bit harder to press, and this silicone is a very soft silicone and it's very giving. So that it's really easy to press the case, like press it on and off. Very, very nice. Feels really good in the hand and it is very, very track like it gives a little bit of traction so that when it when you're holding it like this, it won't it won't it's definitely gonna give you some grip. Like unlike this uh Agent 18 case I have right here. Um when you're holding it it slips out of my hands because the it's not very tr like it's very, very like it slips out of your hand really easily. Unlike this one, which gives a lot of traction and it is very, very nice. I'm very pleased with it. So um, not really much more I can say about the case, guys. Overall, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, just like I said. Their products are very, very nice. Check them out, www.marware.com, right here. Link in the sidebar that way, too, guys. So that will basically end my review on the Marware Sports Grip Extreme for the iPod Touch second generation. I'm um, just trying to remember, there's not really anything much I can say. I'll just go over this just to go like, kind of review. It is a stylish, smooth silicone case. Contains antimicrobial additives. Um, unique and attractive design, easy access to all function of functionality, docking port protection, like I said, um, includes silicone skin, clear film protector, and microfiber cleaning cloth, and a lifetime guarantee to back it all up. So guys, go check them out, marware.com. Very nice products. I want to thank Marware for sending this case out to me for review. I want to thank you guys for getting me to 400 subscribers. I'm at 450 right now. Let's get me up to uh, 500. So, um, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, check out TD Instructor, link in the sidebar that way. And uh, have a great day.